if a couple has a history of fighting physically, but the children are never harmed in that kind of way, what does CPS have to say about that with the child remaining in their custody? Well, domestic violence is a serious issue uh, for our for our country, and and of course it's a it's a it's a concern for child welfare as well. If the children don't personally observe the domestic violence, then the domestic violence is still going to need to be addressed in some way by the agency. Typically, it won't require that the children be taken from the home, but it needs to be addressed, and the agency is typically going to ask that there be some type of service. If the child witnessed the domestic violence, that can be an act of child abuse because that can emotionally harm the child, and so in those those instances, normally the agency is going to want the victim. They will try to identify who the victim is. They're going to want the victim to get a restraining order to compel the other person out of the home. And if they refuse to do so, they will. They, they have the option to remove the children from the home because the perpetrator has committed harm to the children by abusing their spouse. And the victim has committed harm to the children by refusing to stop the abuse once it has had an impact on the children. So it's really a case sensitive analysis, but you're always at risk if there's domestic violence in your relationship and you're not dealing with it.